Here's something interesting and quite perplexing, I have to say. Many years ago, like decades ago, I bought an air freshener like this. And it's motorised. It, it takes a D-cell battery. And inside is a fan. Let me just pop this in. And you insert the aroma cartridge in here. It says oust on it. That's interesting because I did see some that might still be being sold in America. And when you turn it on, there's a fan inside and it blows the aroma out. But it cycles on and off, presumably to make the, well, to control the amount of aroma and also to make the battery last a decent length of time. And I have timed this. The fan runs for about. Uh, Five minutes, which is quite a long time, and then it's off for 15 minutes. But I did notice that if you turn it on and off, it seems to glitch it and it fires the fan in little bursts uh, until it kind of catches up and drops back into sync again. So let's open it. This isn't uh, oil aroma in here. It's actually isopropyl alcohol because I washed this one out. This is one I just got off eBay just because I wanted to check it out. It was a used one. And I was kind of interested to see what the circuitry was like inside. And I can see the circuitry here with what looks like a standard chip. Let's pop the lid in it. Now, while looking online, I did find uh, a Walmart listing for this. I don't know if they still sell them. They, they definitely don't sell them in the UK. Why is that not coming out? There it goes. But I've not seen these in the UK for a very, very long time. But that's not uncommon. There's also another air freshener that appears to be sold in America but is no longer available in the UK. And it was the little tiny wisp unit that took the double A. Oh, that comes apart quite easily. So, um, I, I don't know if this is... I don't think this is still sold in the UK. Might get a clue of the age off the circuit board. I'm not really sure. So the circuit board comes out like this. There is a chip. Right, tell you what, I'm going to take a picture of the circuit board and we'll reverse engineer it just to see what makes this tick and if it uses a standard component or is it a dedicated chip. One moment, please. And resume. Uh, interesting, interesting circuitry. Now, I don't know where to start here. It turns out they may still be selling these, but as new old stock. It's an obsolete product. The whole Oust brand has been moved on. And that's interesting because if you take a look at some products, here's the Airwick air freshener. I have a vintage haze air freshener that I think it might be the precursor to this one. It doesn't have the adjustable intensity fragrance thing, which either has little louvers that restricts airflow or adjusts the heating element up and down. But uh, this one, uh, you actually screw the thing in and it fits even the new versions, the ones you can buy these days. Uh, that's odd. I want to take this one apart just to see if the constructions change much of the heater. But on the other hand, that would be almost like sacrilege to air freshener collectors. But having said that, by taking mine apart, uh, it would save you having to take yours apart. I shall put this to the side. That is very, very stinky. I might put some of that in here and just uh, use it. I, I don't fill my air with uh, toxic chemicals. I tend to just basically uh, just have a little whiff of aroma every so often. Anyway, the back of the circuit board is well labelled. The battery connections are quite solidly mounted on here with probably lead-based soda then. That's fine, that's good. The motor is pressed in. It's got little packers to hold it snugly and then little ratchet clamps to hold it in. And there is human detrius. Ugh. And the little fan itself. Well marked in the back. It's got things like test B, moat B. I don't know why it keeps referring to it as B. Uh, I'll focus down this. Because uh, it almost suggests there's two sections to this chip. Maybe there are two sections to the chip. But if we look at the top, here is the circuit board. We've got uh, a smattering of capacitors. I should have actually noted down the value of those capacitors. I shall note down the value of the capacitors before we go on to the schematic. But it's marked Beagle 60831A083. I kind of drew a blank. I typed in 60831A083 and found an Alibaba seller selling what looked like obsolete chips, which may be it. But I also noticed that an e eBay listing in America showed one of these units and it said vintage unit, showed it from different angles. And on the back, it still had all these markings, but a blob chip instead of the uh, actual the dill chip. 
Um, right, tell you what, before we go to the schematic, I'll show there's a diode across the motor, there's a transistor for switching the motor, there is a uh, decoupling capacitor, and then there's uh, three other capacitors in the circuit, one possibly for reset, and then there's a very high value 240k resistor, uh, which looks as though it's setting timing, which I think is based on binary, given the sort of on to off cycle. The switch, this green layer is an anti-friction layer they've printed on. I thought they might have just done it with the screen print, but they've put an extra layer on because the switch is literally just this little springy metal arrangement that slides backwards and forwards on that and goes on to these two uh, plated pads on the circuit board. The circuit board itself seems quite good quality, actually. It doesn't look like generic synthetic resin bonded paper, though it might be. It might be fiberglass, but I don't think it is. I think it is a better quality SRBP. Anyway... I'm going to, uh, before I show you the schematic, I'm going to note down the values of these capacitors. That's what I should have done before. One moment, please. Well, that was easy. They're all 104. 10 zero and four zeros, 100. 1,000 picofarad is 100 nanofarad for each and every single one of these. So looking at the chip, this one is marked in the circuit board as reset. This one, I'm not really sure. It just gives it a capacitor number, C3. Uh, this one was labelled as C1 and C2 connection points. And I'm guessing that there's an oscillator built in here that you could basically, uh, if you used a lower resistor here, it is using that thing where there's an inverter gate. Let me see if I can just doodle this, an inverter gate which has the resistor going to the input, uh, usually Schmidt trigger, and then a capacitor to the zero volt rail. And what happens is that the output that changes, uh, say, say the output's positive uh, because the input's negative initially when you start up, it will slowly charge that capacitor up from the output via this resistor over a given period of time, and then the output will change state when it reaches a threshold, and then it will start discharging capacitor, and that is a basic oscillator. Then I reckon that's going to a binary, binary counter in here, and it's being divided down and gated. I think this is a dedicated chip purely for these air fresheners. I don't know what all the other pins are for. I don't know. There's no data on this. I think you'd have to experiment by finding other pins and maybe setting them to different levels. Not sure. Maybe it can. you can change that timing. But uh, certainly it appears to be binary uh, one on, three off for the fan. Certainly, I didn't leave it running for ages because that's quite a long time it takes just sitting waiting for a fan to start. But that's more or less it. When So when the binary counter and gating, the logic applied to it, uh, detects it's time for the fan to run, it pulls the input to this uh, PNP transistor low and that transistor then turns on and it drives the fan that has a protection diode across it. It's all very logical and simple. Um... I did ponder, this circuitry reminds me of the 4060, but I don't think it is related to the 4060 because it's got purely binary outputs. Um, but that is more or less it. It's quite nice in a way, if you like chemical smells being put into the house. I was surprised by the on ratio to off ratio. I thought this was just going to go like on for a few seconds and then stay off for an hour or something like that. But the uh, five minutes on for 15 minutes off is quite a long duration. But having said that, it is one of those super low power uh, solar style motors. Uh, I could test that, couldn't I? 1.5 volts. One moment, please. Test complete. 25 milliamps. So, you know, it's the battery is going to last a good length of time at that. So there we have it. Uh, it's unusual because it's got a much bigger head to the wicking section. It's got the section that carries the aroma oil up. It usually is oil-based uh, up to this larger area. And they've just, because it's a passive airflow thing, they've just got a very large wick. Um, but there we have it. The oust... Uh, fan assisted battery operated electronic air freshener oh i should also mention that the date on the circuit board is 2004 so roughly just under 20 years ago at this point in time so it is an old design i think it probably hung around for a while and then just uh, disappeared to be replaced by the latest fad air freshener but that's it the oust electronic air freshener Interesting little device, well worth taking apart.